All right, so I don't understand Democrats in South Carolina. I don't understand Republicans in South Carolina either, but I really don't understand the Democrats. For years, and I mean years, I've written columns pointing out how the Republican voting bloc in the Palmetto State is just rife with fissures, that the whole edifice is ready to come tumbling down if you just crack in the right spots. I call it segmentation and suppression basically splitting apart the GOP voting bloc and then targeting messages to drive down support amongst those various splinters. Now, Democrats have utterly failed to do this. Uh, and as a result, they have lost literally every statewide election going back to 2006, every one. Uh, in fact, they haven't won a top of the ticket statewide race since 1998. So it's been a while, okay, been a while. Now, Democrats, not only are they not exploiting uh, the vulnerabilities on the Republican side, but they're also failing to keep their own voting block together. And just today, we saw a significant example of that uh, in the form of progressive health care advocate Gary Vatour. Now, Mr. Vatour was running for the Democratic gubernatorial nominations in South Carolina. He was one of three candidates. In fact, he was actually the first candidate to announce his intention to run. The other two are former Congressman Joe Cunningham from Charleston and State Senator Mia McLeod of Richland County, two credible candidates. Now, the problem with Cunningham and McLeod is that neither one of them are raising any money. In fact, their campaigns are losing money. Uh, during the most recent report uh, from the fourth quarter of 2020, both of their campaigns actually spent more money than they brought in, which is a terrible sign for campaigns try striving to build some momentum ahead of the election season. So both of those campaigns are in big trouble, but whoever wins that, primary fight is going to face a much steeper uphill climb thanks to Mr. Vitor's decision to leave the Democratic primary and run as a Labor Party candidate. Now, let's assume Mr. Vitor gets 1% of the vote, okay? No big deal, right? Well, if you're a Democrat in South Carolina struggling to get to 42 43%, it's a huge deal. It's a huge deal because it means in addition to failing to splinter the Republican voting bloc, now your voting bloc is being splintered. And I hate to break it to Democrats, but you start off with a smaller bloc than the GOP does, particularly here in South Carolina. So big news today with Mr. Vitor's decision to ditch the Democratic primary and run as a Labor Party candidate. Not only does this make it harder for Democrats, but increases the, the pressure on them and the need for them to again, do what I've been telling them they should be doing all along, which is segment and suppress that Republican voting monolith.